And yes, we're about to laugh a bit and also give some advice to some woman who says that the only way she can keep her marriage is if she cheats on her husband, which is very interesting. Um, but anyway, so let me read the story quickly, but you can share with us your thoughts and opinions uh, via social media at tv 3 gun and also on WhatsApp. The numbers will be on your screens shortly. So this is what the story says. Hmm. Dear New Day, I said I do to the most amazing man five years ago. We have been blessed with a beautiful boy, and I can say our, our home is a happy one. My husband praises me to all his friends, saying, I am not like other women. I don't nag. I am attentive, always there when he needs me. He, however, doesn't know that I have, I have been cheating on him for over three years now. I've been with one, uh, not one, but three guys. I know this is wrong, but honestly, I'm a better spouse when I cheat. The guilt always causes me to make things easier for him. He's a good man, and the last thing I'd want to do is to hurt him i need help what do you think about this and what advice would you give to this woman now in the studios i have mr counselor uh, george counselor luchot he is of course a counselor as we all know and a relationship specialist you're called cyril as well yeah my name is cyril george ah. castonson luchot but the cyril Kastensen. comes when i'm at orgasm all right, so let me introduce my guest who is not at that point of orgasm. <laughs> Everything is fine this morning. Rosalie Ilbudu. Yes. Uh, bienvenue. You're welcome to TV3. And you. she's a banker, by the way. And so I usually like to start with the women because I don't understand. They say when a woman cheats, she's not cheating just for the fun of it. She, it, there's a lot of emotional attachment yeah. because then she's tired of whoever she's with and wants to be with the other person. That's why she will open up her doors for the other person. This is a woman who's married. And she's cheating with three men. Is that normal for a woman? No, it is not. Okay. Three men. When I read the story, I wasn't really, I didn't really want to jump into conclusion and okay. judging her. I just wanted to take it to the spiritual aspect. Okay. Thinking. Why <laughs> should a woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Yeah, but why you tell should me. a woman cheat on a husband? I mean, this is. This is marriage. Okay. You were joined into a holy matrimony. Mm. So I don't think you should... With three men... Well, three. If, if it was one man, would it have been any oh, better? Oh, no, no. You're not, you're not even supposed to cheat. Why? A woman is not supposed to cheat. No, is the man supposed not, to cheat? not the man. Okay, not or the a woman. woman. Have you cheated before? Never. And I don't intend to. You don't intend to? No. Okay. You married? Not yet. So then why how can you cheat? No, I get the boy no but she, she's probably been in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, you can't cheat, please. So you've not cheated don't before worry. question. Don't follow so, the death to answer so some questions. For you, from yourself. the spiritual point of view, hey. it's even wrong it is for wrong. anybody to cheat. It is wrong. Because the Bible says, lean not on your own understanding. So when you take it, when you, I, I was thinking, why should a married woman cheat? Is it that she's not satisfied? What are you looking for? You don't love the man? Like, what's the reason? Maybe she needs therapy. Let's move away from spiritualism and let's talk as regular human beings. Okay. Um, you know, facing challenges every day, going through a lot of emotional, you know, trauma and all of that. Mm -hmm. You're with a man. He probably gives you everything, but there's still something missing and that you find in another man and it makes it easier for you to cheat. That's a normal human thing, is it not? At that point, are we still going to call it wrong? Yes, it's On the wrong. human level. Because you've committed yourself to someone. Okay. So for you, it's the commitment. That's it's a, a commitment. That yes. means if you cheat in a relationship, it's fine. No, it's not fine. No, you've but already there's no committed commitment. yourself to someone. So why should you go out and look what for something else? What is commitment? Okay. As in, be with someone. Okay, that's be with for only you. one it's person. Commitment. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if you're with that person, you must stay. Whether it's working or not. If it's not working, then leave. Yeah, but even in the process of it not being not, not working and you wanting to leave, you still can't see anybody else. You have to make sure that you mm -hmm. severe ties with the person before you before, can cheat. Yes. Okay. Counselor. Then it's not be called it will not be called cheating anymore. Because yeah, you're no more because you're no more with exactly. the person. But once yeah. you're with the person, you shouldn't. No. At all. And no some constants you should do that. Wait, is cheating just having sex with a person or would you term even flirting? 
for you is it shouldn't even happen. Yeah, it, it shouldn't can't happen. Like, it's, it's your it. husband for 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 for. So you can't flirt if you're married. No, you can't flirt. At least you die, you. <laughs> You can't flirt. You know what flirting is? I know. I'm flirting with you now, so I'm coming to the crowd. No, you're not flirting with her. How do you know what flirting is? So you don't know what flirting is? I know. To the education class too. Wait, what is flirting? All the ministers of Nana Dodanka are going to flirt. They go back to the TV now. They have to learn how to flirt. What do you term flirting? Flirting is just... It's just a stepping stone to get into intimacy. Okay. Yes. What? What? Kelsa, can she make her point? I don't know. I don't know. I'm also googling flirting it so I can read it. After the argument, to intimacy. What? So stepping stone us in the conversations. Yeah. Then, then the most thing. of the yeah. cameramen they have left their stepping stone. <laughs> Stumbling block. Let me come to you. <laughs> because cancer. I know a cameraman who has been flirting First of all, the camera. Oh, what is cheating and what is flirting, so that well, we can draw the line see, before we move on. <laughs> let me say a cherish good morning to viewers and uh, all. Acting ministers and shadow ministers of Renato Dangwa Kufa Duska. Mm. I've been so angry with the government. I've been watching mm. your news and everything. Mm. You know. it's, it's very, very, it's funny. Mm. And I think some of us must begin to stalk. It doesn't mean we are NDC, we are MPP, we are CPP. But my sister, if you fall down today, they will check your party colors to check your clinical status. Mm. Where I work, I see human beings who have come without party colors mm. and we are supposed to save them. Yeah. Some of the things that they say when it comes to health, they should be careful. Okay. We'll, and I'm we'll saying health because it's relationship. We're focusing on the story because okay. this lady can go for one cheating and he, she can collapse. <laughs> and will not have an ambulance to pick the girl but a taxi. That's what I'm speaking. Why would she collapse? Because I could tell you all You know Wanda, that? What is cheating and what is cheating? Then someone will come and tell us that eh, 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 we, are, we, are, we are doing procurement process. We are doing this. You buy ambulance. When the, the ambulance come, then you go to procurement process Counselor, so that you can get it running. Be can time we stop for that. playing for this? Great. What I didn't do with her heart? I didn't be to us with it before. Thank you. Bella. I know it's I, I will let you visit me one day. You all right? invite Where me. I live, when you come on the way every morning, you see a taxi with a woman who is just a hypoglycemia. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So you bring ambulance and you pack it because we're looking for procurement process to train people, procurement process to do this. Are we serious in this country? God will punish a lot of people with okay. mass stroke and mental disorders. Why are we here? How do you curse people like that? They call anyway, it curse, but let's, let's move away from it. I asked you ah, a question. Is it because when you are sick, you can we call understand. by phone? Counselor, to, to there will be that? time to speak about this. I go forward, I greet you. Thank you very Change much. Change the rep, round, round pegs in your square holes. And then... Get them proper men to use them and proper women as side chick. Let's continue the conversation. Most of the MPs, they are, they are losing their sexuality. That is why they are doing We are not talking doing. about MPs here. What is cheating and what is flirting? Most of them, they say their wives are it's cheating. It's fine. We understand. Yes. Okay. So because what they is don't it? have time for them. They say mm -hmm. their wives are cheating. Now All watch right. it here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to the originality of the conversation. You see, she said a lot of things. And one of the first <laughs> things she said that was very, very wrong is that... Uh, are you finished Googling? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what the Google says. I'm a Google map myself. Watch yeah. it here. <laughs> One of the funny things you said is that spirituality. Mm -hmm. My sister, from today, don't ever do this that God will be angry with you. He just came to TV3. Don't let him leave. The thing is that when it comes to sex, there's nothing spiritual about sex. Don't let anybody lie to you. Sex is a mechanical action. That is why when it comes to the male, every male is what we use to have sexual intercourse. The man is spirit, but the male in us is not spirit. I can erect right now as I'm sitting here. Mm -hmm. But the opportunity of penetration is what I lack. Okay. But I'm a man of God. That is why every man of God that is high in spirit, they are dangerous sexually. There will be names, Ajian Saris, Duncan Williams, the Obafos, the Opambos. Everybody. No, everybody. Every man of God who every is... Every man. No, every man of God who is high in the spirit is dangerous spiritually. Mm. And every true worshipper, like the Sonny Badus, like the Joe Metal, Joe Metal, you don't joke with him. Mm. But Joe will be a Oh, God. No, sorry. The spirit you can't is say dead. this mm. on morning TV. I'm sorry. No, I what, won't allow this. Which one is morning? What did I, they hear? I, no, I won't allow this. Are you this. translating the girl language? What? Let's not mention <laughs> names here. I, no, no, for names. You are, even haven't answered are, my no, question. They are the key personalities we need to use we them for example. We can just say highly spiritual people. No, so them. highly spiritual people. Care. You say highly spiritual people think of weed. They will think it's highly <laughs> spiritual. <laughs> Samin. Or uh, Stone Wars Camp is, or something. You haven't or answered Shatawali. my question. I'm asking the question, so follow. So it is not spiritual. 
take it out really? of your head. If you think sex is spiritual, that is why that most women have taken their husbands to pastors to pray for them. Me crucifying sister and come out grown kwan, mumbwa me empire, empire, soon soon to finish me, to finish me. This is where the challenge is with cheating for uh -huh. women. Okay. So spirituality is a no no. Take it out of it. All Sexual right. intercourse is a serious mechanical things. That is why you can be spiritual, but when you get to orgasm, you cannot do anything. But the spirit that leads you, so you don't it's end not, up it's not cheating true. on your partner. It's not true. And number two, marriage is not spiritual. Ah, my sister, counselor, marriage too is not spiritual. This is the bad thing you are going through. That is why prophets are prophesying husbands and wives for you, and your marriage is collapsing. Marriage is a physical exercise. Number three, flirting with a with a spiritual intervention. Yes, yeah. spiritual That's intervention. What, yes. Why okay. do you call on God to bless the marriage? No, God doesn't come to bless marriages. The blessing of God in marriages is given to us through our father and mother. The Bible says that, and for this reason, the man will leave the father and the mother and become one. So the blessing in marriage is in your father so and your mother. Why do we go to your spiritual fathers? The, uh, beg why, you, wait, I'm asking you a question. Why do we go to church? Why do we invite pastors uh, to? You, let me tell you why you do that. Uh -huh. Me, as a marriage officer, me, as a marriage officer, uh -huh. the church I am in, the certificate I will give you if you are marrying my church. That certificate, I have no right to buy it. I'm a marriage officer registered by the Registered General Department of Ghana, and I'm doing the same work the registrar does. Uh -huh. Just that you say that you're a faith based person. Uh -huh. So your cloud of witnesses are church. But it doesn't mean that there's any spiritual connotation or blessings attached to the marriage in the church. Forget okay. it. Okay. Your okay. father's blessing. It's better than any man of God's blessing. Okay. So stop the deceit. Please carry on. So that is number two. Number three, mm -hmm. flirting is a tool for men to use to reduce the ability for cheating. When you say men, are we talking about the general term or you're only men? As men, male? men are male. There's nothing like gender like. In the Bible, you man no, is never, okay. never. The okay. Bible never said again. Man wait, is man, on. woman is woman. Stop distorting the Bible. Yo, no. So when it comes on. to flirting, mm -hmm. and you say flirting is a stepping stone to uh, uh, getting somebody in bed, no, take it out. Now, when we say flirting, flirting is admiring something that should cause you to activate your, your living reaction in a day. So read it. Go and check. I mean, I, I'm not a working Don't worry, I have but, it here. So, yes. when you're so done, it I'll is read not it. an evil intention. Flirting is just admiring something, and we can have flirting. We just move eye. I'm admiring your breast, admiring your dress, admiring your lips, admiring your nose, and thinking your nose and your clit will be the same. It's just flirting. So when it comes to flirting, it cannot be evil. It becomes evil. No, 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 no please, please, please. So married so, men should learn to flirt. And one of the good things I'll tell every married man, every married man must learn how to date unmarried girls. Because unmarried girls must date married men. So they will have the experience of marriage. So this girl How issue, do you have the experience of marriage when you date a married man? Oh, okay. So okay, you you carry on. No, wait. Girl. I don't get it. Because I've dated that they a should. lot of girls. You're saying they should so they can have the experience. Ever since I got married, I've dated a lot of girls. And they are testifying to the dating they had with me that they are wishing to have a man like me as oh, a husband. You're saying dating oh, as in going God. out with someone. But what is dating? If okay, anybody dates you, you have sex with you, you are practicing a shower. That one is different. No. Uh -huh. so, carry on. So, so the Let's challenge here is that. Word into the the you hate that word. I don't know why. Let's carry on. It's not a case. A shower is a business, and I glorify a shower. Can Give we carry blessings. on, Council? Oh, a shower people who have returned well, from work this, this morning. I'm I greet you this. that you are back from work and you are watching. You need you are to make your TV point 3. so she can come in. Yes, I'm just battling her point. I can okay, establish so, my point. Yeah. So, flirting is very important. Every married person must learn how to flirt. So, when you're sitting with your spouse, and she's flirting, or he's flirting. Be quiet with it. Flirting us and probably giving another guy eyes or chatting with someone. You, you chat, shouldn't get. Hello, upset. you see, chatting, uh -huh. chatting with somebody is your right. And no. under the constitution in of a, Ghana, in a flirtatious way. Define flirtatious but way. But you just defined it. So okay. if somebody want to flirt and want to flirt with a message that has just come. Mm -hmm. For example, I am not in a studio with you. You just send a picture to me and go like, and I, I just begin to do, wow, your mm -hmm. dress is nice. Yeah. I like the way your, That's top, your top lip is cropped out this morning. I'm not behind my TV, but I'm just imagining you. This is something that we are trying to flirt on chat. Yeah. It is accepted. In marriage. Ah. Say you, that people, again. you see, your mind is that you people, you are, you are told by the liars in our world. That's why I'm that marriage, marriage is a, it's a cage. Marriage it is, is not a cage, but please, she's married. The reason please. why I'm asking this is in mm -hmm. relation to the woman and... That's why I'm bringing and, it to her story. Uh -huh. That this is what they have told you. 
They have lied to you people to believe that when you get married, then you are caged. When you get married, it's an end. When you get married, it's the end of the road. There's no safety valve in it. There's no exit plan. No, there it's is the beginning of the road for you and that person you are committed to. So you are on the road together and two shall become one. Shall become means that there are so many things that we would tend to understand to become one. One of them is flirting. One of them is living no, with a beauty. No, no, Was it last week we were tweeting here a woman, you. a man refusing the, the wife the from wife, working yeah. just because mm -hmm. she's too beautiful? Mm -hmm. You see such foolish men who don't understand what marriage is. You are beautiful, so don't work. And I'm saying that you learn in marriage to come and associate yourself with a beautiful woman. Know what are the challenges of a beautiful mm -hmm. woman. What happens to a beautiful woman? She's admired by all people. So it's part of preparing to be married. Okay. So when you have a woman who is cheating in marriage, remember, Cheating is part of marriage. You've said this countless and times. And it is no news. How, how is it part of marriage? How is cheating part <laughs> of marriage? You see how uh, guys are jubilating. How? Okay, how is cheating that? part of marriage? So Wait, let me explain to why you. Why should I cheat on someone like hello, that? Hello, hello. Hi. You cannot even love a man in the first place. So oh, chill. God. Counselor. Love is our duty. Because men are very complicated. You can't love them. Marriage is meant for women. So women are stagnant. You are created okay. for marriage. That is why God gave you for four. But watch it here. Okay. Watch it here. So cheating is part of marriage. You say so. We hear. And so two things you should expect in marriage. If it doesn't come, I have not cheated yet. Lack of opportunity. But mm -hmm. this is it. <laughs> this is the challenge. Divorce and cheating. And cheating. I expect him. You say this every week. Every day. Uh -huh. And when you have this mindset. Oh, no, I don't agree with no, you. No, your agreement doesn't no. change what I'm saying. Actually. Don't worry. You let him land. Then I'll let you come in with your opinion. Your opinion. Now watch it here. The challenge is that if you understand this concept, mind will not be a burden for you. If you understand this concept, mind will not be a burden for you. So once this girl is in marriage and she has come to a point to believe that she's cheating, look at her statement. Mm -hmm. When she cheats, she feels That's when better she... in a marriage. Yeah. Her guilt makes her treat the man better. Treats the man better. In Why the should first, it be so? Thank you. In the first place, this girl is married to a wrong man. Okay. Nobody, including myself, can justify cheating. Mm. Cheating cannot be justified. Mm -hmm. Number two. You can't have any right reason for cheating. Like the married men are telling you, I don't know what happens to me, but when I see you have erection, when I see my wife, then it becomes banana sweet. Is that what they say? Yes. Okay. And so you think you are the queen of the land. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mali, there is something called ED. We have erectile dysfunction and erectile dissatisfaction. So you, you are part of the satisfaction. Maybe the wife has become a dissatisfied person because she knocks, because she talks, because she doesn't take herself or because she looks beautiful like this. But in the evening when they remove the wig, you know, so these things are causing dissatisfaction. Mm. Even that, mm -hmm. it can be a justification for cheating. Okay. However, when people begin to think that cheating is the pivot of their life, it means that one, they might be in a wrong relationship. Mm -hmm. Two, they might have different orientation for the marriage in. Or three, an expectation has not been met and they don't see it to ever be met. In this case, what is it? This girl might need a sitting in the office. But I have cases like this of women who, who today are cheating today, on I'm, their men. Look, mm. but I'm telling you, regardless of everything, if you give me a knife to cut my neck, I'll vouch for women who will cheat, that they are more faithful in marriage than men. Women who cheat if are you more get faithful a, if than you get a ten, If you get a 10 women, uh -huh. and you want to see how many will cheat inside, the least you can get is three. And even the three, two of them, are not very, very comfortable with what they are doing. Mm -hmm. They wish but they will be out, still, yeah. but they are still there. As compared to men, that mm -hmm. when you get a ass, you will All get, you. no, you get 7.5. No, the 2.5 left. 9 .9. It is a lack of opportunity. That's why we are not doing it. <laughs> it's not Christianity. Okay. So this girl's issue is that she might <clears> have <throat> given herself to a wrong man. Read the story carefully. Mm -hmm. He supplies he's, he's everything. He's an amazing man. Yeah. He's an amazing man. He, yeah. I said I do to a man who is like this. Now, mm -hmm. the girl is describing the type of man. She has not she told you. I love him. She has not told you the type of man they are servicing her engine. Okay. I get anything. Yeah. Her type of sexual orientation in terms of penetration preparation might not be this man's own. He's obviously not satisfying her because otherwise, why would she go and cheat on him? With there are women? people that their satisfaction can never be met. For example, you meet young, innocent girls, girls like the two of you who look very innocent on TV. We are innocent. And please don't talk for her. 
Say, I am innocent. We I am innocent. innocent. We yes, you innocent. can never say you are Carry not innocent on. on TV because people are watching and they are waiting. But if we are not innocent, we will say, it. Why are you we afraid see. of anybody? But we are Have innocent. Have you used a oh. before? What's that? Ah, yes. So Carry at this on. age, this is a disgrace to Ghana. <laughs> that at the age of Bella on TV, that's not know what a dude does. Carry on. Shame to Ghana. <laughs> Shame to Ghana. Hey, look at this. My mother is watching. You know she doesn't know. You too, you don't know. I don't know. What's it? Don't worry, we're not even talking about Don't give Kausa the chance. Listen, and, and you speak French. we might start a <laughs> whole <laughs> conversation. So, what I'm saying here is that, you see, satisfaction, it depends on the woman, not the man. Okay. Satisfaction of your wife is dependent on her. So, most how? men... Are, hmm. Oh, counselor, how? Girl, the how is because, watch it. Uh -huh. We think we can satisfy Bella. But even Bella is a virgin, most virgins are burdens. And why have they become burdens? They have an unrealistic expectation mm -hmm. in sexual life. So it's married it's... about sex. Yes, we marry because of sex. I marry my wife because of sex. Any mother will marry you because of sex. If you think it's because of reality, it forget it. Don't marry. Like, hold on, let it me just bring Rosalie in and ask it quickly. More than so let's that. just say that you're married. Um, you don't think the marriage is about sex. I don't think so. that so. means that if the sex is bad between you and your husband whilst you're married, you know, you won't, won't have a problem. Sex. No, you won't have a problem no, if the sex no, is bad. No, not at all. The women don't marry for sex. I don't. No, women so don't. if it's bad, I women don't think don't you'll marry be in there even yes. if it's bad. Yes, because I look. Girl, women don't marry for sex. Don't quote me wrong. Okay. We men. My we marry you fine. for sexual intercourse. No, so but, if I'm but, not satisfied and my uh, my 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 husband is, and I'm, I'm you okay. are a very wicked person, and all women watching you would think so, that you are. So, so you okay, and your husband okay. have sex, but you you know he he's has okay. All and the fun, but you're so you're an object. Fine, so you'll I'm be fine with object, continuing the marriage for, like that. Yes, I didn't marry him for you, sex. You, why? Yes. Why would you marry someone yes, then? I like you. Because I, like you. I looked at character. I look at someone who loves me, respects me, not just for sex. So, so let's just say, it is part of it. Let's yes. just say mistakenly, just you know, I mean, you don't mind that, you know, sex is not that great between you. But mistakenly, you end up with someone else and you have sex maybe just once. You were probably drunk, but it was the best experience of your life. Wouldn't that wake you up and realize, for you to realize that, okay, I'm missing something in my marriage. And that would be the basis for you to cheat on your man. Not necessarily because you don't love him or because he doesn't treat you well. But you've just discovered something that you don't have in your marriage. <laughs> I think let me experience it before because I can't really tell how Bella, I go about okay. it. Bella, that's what I was telling her. You said she's coming. I was just going to tell you that satisfaction is dependent on them. Why do I say that? Like she's saying, it's not because of sex. Yes. So if she's sitting in marriage and sex is bad, she'll take it like that. But watch mm -hmm. it here. Don't if forget. If sex is bad for me, no, I'll don't forget. Like that. New if day. It's okay for my husband. No, don't worry. New day will not never stop. Mm -hmm. Me too, I'm not dying now. Mm -hmm. So after she's married, so you think I'll, when they I'll are on leave, will you, she won't come she'll and tell just you. be on t behind the TV, not on TV, mm -hmm. watching. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell her the importance and what she's losing and how close she is to mouth stroke because she's condoning to wrong sexual behavior in bed. Bella, her clit carries 16,000 8, uh, 8, nerves. That's her clit. Mine. Male the clit, organ. Not my the clit. No, I'm talking about you, my sister. Because you are a woman, you don't have a clit. Her clit carries. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. 8, you nerves. already said that. <laughs> and my male organ, uh -huh. the cup, carries 16,000. Okay. Now, I use blood to erect. She uses nerves to produce estrogen. Mm -hmm. What will happen? Mm -hmm. The act of sexual intercourse must arrive at orgasm. And it is what we call the body's natural overhauling. Mm. So if constantly your husband will have sexual intercourse with you in bed, and you don't arrive there, you are companioning the nerves. Okay. Very soon, okay. you will begin to curse God for creating you as a woman. Counselor. So what you are saying here, I want to use this opportunity to apologize on behalf and right. retract before you get a man to marry you. Okay. Let, let, the let's say, let's let's let me quickly on. say this. The so church okay. not, if I've not experienced something more than what my husband is offering me. I wouldn't really know hello, it's hello, bad. Hello. You see, that's, that's where no, I was you, telling you. No, because better. you brought spirituality in and saying that because of your belief hey. system, you will never cheat. Nobody should cheat on a man. That's why I gave that scenario. No, but I'm telling you that even that. as a Just virgin, so that, I was telling Bella that even as a virgin, when you're having sex with a virgin, she has learned something from TV that they say the first day they break your virginity, you will feel a jigger, a jigger, and blood will flow. So whilst you are lying on her, she's expecting... 
a jiga, a jiga. Okay. And so when a jiga doesn't catch, she's lying and say, no, ah, the thing let is, me ask you this, counselor. So, so, so this woman is saying that you when know she is cheats, better? that's the only way she's able to treat her husband better Go. and she's happy. Why? It's because evil. in her guilt, she might be able to give that man the sex he wants, even if it's not good. There are okay. women today who are having sex with their husbands and they okay. think about another guy who satisfied them. But she didn't talk about sex being a problem in the marriage. No, no, listen to her carefully. Her guilt makes her feel good. And I'm telling you, from, makes things easier for him. So that's what I'm saying that he's right, a good man. Thank yes. you. Look, I have women in my office who are cheating not because of anything, but when they meet their husband, they don't produce estrogen, they get dry up. Okay. But when they leave the house and do away matches, they lubricate like nothing is happening. Do you understand? And you ask them, why? Because they tell you reasons why this man is not leading them to the place. And leaving the marriage has not been an option. Mm. Because the church says no. The family says no. So to die, you look at abomination and murder. Yeah. So she's rather want to commit abomination than murder, which I stand for. Mm. So what, what should she, this woman do? The first thing that she has a problem. Yes. But her problem is not sinful. Her problem is not evil. Nobody should write her off. Okay. She's a living testimony of true life. Because like with three with men, not one. That three, is understatement. Three. Three, three. 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 Yeah, three. That's, that's, that's that is why understatement. Extreme. Three. It is too much. Three. You, if you are fortunate but, but to three, one, one, one. It is but three. No, 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 no but it's not just about sexual satisfaction. The way you are stressing, high girl, high girl. stressing on three high girl, is evil. High girl. The way you are stressing on three makes it look like if it was just one man. No, no, you, you won't. You won't be as no, astonished no, as you are now. Hello, girl. Maybe it's about sexual hello, satisfaction. Hello, girl. Three. Yeah. Three. It's, it's, under, it's, it's understated. With two. Because three. No, hello, it is it's, evil. It, no, I it's, think it's evil. Cheating on your husband with three men is evil. No, I'm to that extent. My sister. My sister. My evil. My sister. Is that evil? No. It is still when evil. When Christians meet, they talk evil, evil, evil. But when they are erected, they forget evil. I'm not evil. saying she's a sinner. So yeah. my list thing. I'm saying But maybe all the three men are giving her different experiences. There is nothing evil. There's nothing evil here. There's nothing evil. There is a need in the life of a woman. And like you who don't care about meeting the need. Because she has a need. And this thing cannot meet the need. Okay. We are not saying that Let it is justifying that. her cheating mentality. But I'm yeah. saying that it is because a lot of women are going through this challenge that when the man comes, you meet her. Abela, take your camera out. I know that, you know. Or buy your dad or swa. Pam, 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 pam. Uhumbao, uhumbao, ubeti, no one crumb. And to mean women, he's solving better. This is what we face. Yeah. And men have not come to think that the fact that we carry 16,000 nerves and we erect five times before daybreak and we, we erect 11 times before the evening, it doesn't make them the same. They do only three. Mm. They do only three. But her sexual orientation is what I'm trying to bring to her yeah. mind. Before you meet a man and you look and say, This is my husband, what have you done with your sexuality? Some of the Christian girls, like her. But they say don't have sex before marriage. So some of the Christian girls have never had sex. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Can't say, you they, can't say, they, uh -huh. they have really experienced orgasm. Not with a man, but with okay. three ears. And the third one. Okay. They have used vibrators, click clickers on themselves. So you, the man, cock a like me, you cannot cause her to arrive. Okay. So her sexual orientation for the beginning is what the man maybe cannot be able to miss. So I'm saying she has a problem one because her sexual orientation has not been explained by the man to meet it. Hold That's on. One. Hold on with the one. We'll come. I'm back holding in. on. Yeah, we'll come back with the rest. Uh, but yes, let us know what you think as well. So keep watching. It's TV3 New Day. TV3 New Day. We're just about wrapping up our conversation on this woman who has had to cheat on her husband with three different men because that's the only way she stays sane and is able to treat her husband better in their marriage, even though he's such an amazing husband, like she says. So Counselor and Rosalie have been in the studio telling us what they think about this issue. But you said that she's suffering from some problems. Yeah, that's, that's the, what we call the sexual disorder, uh -huh. which is called fetish. We call it fetistic disorder. Fetistic. Fetistic. Okay, disorder, okay, okay. Which means that uh, she has never been satisfied well. Mm -hmm. She has not been able to get the orientation to define what satisfaction in bed is. Mm -hmm. And there's an expectation that, you know, somebody can decide to have sexual intercourse with me. And mm -hmm. unfortunately for, for the person, she's looking at my name. Counselor is on me. Okay. So counselor must perform because then all of a sudden, 
I come back with banana, sweet. I don't perform. Mm -hmm. So she goes like, ah, so she, she's not satisfied. And Bella, you have to learn that the way you break your virginity determines your sexual life till you die. Mm. So when you meet a woman, no man can say I'm good in bed. Only women can tell if a if man, a is, man good is good or not. Okay. So when you find a young woman who is in marriage and she's sleeping with one, two, three, it means that she has not found somebody to meet to her meet sexual her need. Okay. Or she doesn't even know what her sexual need is. Okay. I met a girl whose sexual need is nothing but mm. anal sex. Okay. And she was married for 12 years. So so in this case, with you this see woman, the uh -huh, challenge. I get you. So this woman and she started what cheating. She, do? she was cheating because she met a guy who understood her, her anal penetration. And the guy was not even penetrating. He says the guy doing foreplay will do everything in her anal region and she and gets she's satisfied. Okay. We are not justifying cheating. We are not justifying what a woman is doing. I'm saying that there is a problem with her that she needs help. One, don't tell your husband. It's the first thing. She shouldn't tell him? Don't be a fool. Madam, Kalu, Kalu, Kalu. Yes, I think she, she needs to confess. To who? to who? To her husband. Who is no, the husband? Don't so. You don't think so? No. She Why? has to deal with it on her own. No, How do you deal with the problem? Is, it's like no, the she needs to tell him like, like she's not feeling guilty. No, the husband will help her to deal with it. So she should Which tell. man would take that? Why is no, that? No, no, but, man but, take but that? some men don't... They, they, I mean, they'll be hurt, but they'll really? forgive you. Oh, Why is it that problem? There's a problem, the fact that it's three men. Yes. So if it's one, she should tell him. If it's one, yes. What are you saying? Maybe it was a mistake. No, she told you it was a mistake. You enjoy... Like, no, I'm just taking FM. an example. If it was, no, I'm just taking an example. Her first example. hour of cheating, she has, she has married for six years on Joe FM, Lexus. And she says one night, the, she worked with the boss late. And the boss did that, uh, and then she held the office table. The first day she had orgasm. Uh -huh. When she went home, she divorced the husband. Like the story you gave. You made a mistake. Because that was the biggest, that was the biggest truth in her life. And from that day till today, She's better now married with a different man who understands her sexual orientation. I pull it to your office table and she got to orgasm. So this is so what we're like, talking about. Uh, our time is up. We have to man. go. Leave who? But so, this is three men she's been So you think she should leave the man women, without even okay. telling him what? She should, just, yes, she should leave, leave him. Counselor, she should go for help? No. She, she, well, the first thing she needs is help. But I'm saying that she should not tell the husband about what's going up, on. So no, she needs therapy as well. The three men she's sleeping with. All of them are still not hitting the way she wants. That's just she's doing it. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't come for help, she will increase from three to four. I'm not stopping her, though. She can go. 2015, that's okay. But this is the challenge I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that all the rounds you are going, I beg you, sister, don't bring pregnancy home. Mm. So if you want to do it, do it safe. Use condom. Before you think you want to stop, seek for help. But this goes to other men who are not satisfying their wife home, and you think all is about money and the, the environment. I'm begging you, have time for sexual intercourse. All right. That's why the orgasm conference comes every year for you. This year, 25th December, cash in So that okay. you can get there. But orgasm this woman should write this number. Time is up. 0277. <laughs> and those of you using vibrators. Counselor, time is up. 0277. Release the number so we can go. <laughs> 60. <laughs> 96. Four, four. Let me All give right. you her number. Those no, no, no. Time see. is up. We have to go, counselor. That's her number. Uh, 609. <laughs> 644. Four. She's not going to do it. Thank you. Me. Rosalie Ilbudu is a banker and Cyril John Luchot is a relationship uh, specialist. And so, yeah, that's, that's it for this week of TV3 New Day. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with us. And